picture this. It's 2008 and you just got home from school. You go to the freezer and grab out your last sunny boy. You sit down in your really big hand chair because your parents watched High Five one too many times and thought a big hand chair would be a good idea. And you turn on the family CRT TV to watch some afternoon kid shows on your favorite network. ABC. You're immediately greeted by Rollercoaster TV host Elliot Spencer, and with this, you know it's going to be a good afternoon. Today, we are ranking some of Australia's classic kids' TV shows and putting them on a tier list. But before I do that, I'm going to need some help from somewhat of an expert in the field of children's television. He has watched a lot more of these children's shows a lot more recently than I have, and he's made a lot of funny videos about it on his YouTube channel, so you should go check that out. I'm, of course, talking about my friend and roommate, Mitchell. Get in here! Oh. You haven't seen the tier list before? I haven't seen the tier list. It's, so, like, a, it's like a magician's assistant. So, I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> We've never met before, is that what you want? <laughs> Quick disclaimer before you run into the comments. Some of these shows are not Australian, some of them are British and some of them are American, but like ABC had like this weird like relationship with like mm. British television in like the early 2000s and they're like, oh, you play some of our British shows and we'll play some of your Australian shows. It's weird. I but think, anyway. I think we gave them Neighbours and they just fucking love Neighbours and they just gave us everything else. <laughs> yeah. Neighbours is like massive. <laughs> like, like, people like, in the UK are more sad Neighbours is ending than people in Australia. <laughs> we couldn't care less. So that's why we're basically just, this is just what was being shown on ABC. So, you know, you can sue me. All right, so this is the tier list. Uh, Do you recognize <laughs> yeah, any yeah. of these? Yeah, I think I recognize. Uh, Almost uh, all of them. <laughs> okay, all right, cool. This first one, I, I don't know if you've seen it, but I've definitely, I watched a lot of it as a kid. And that is, of course, my boy, Ace Lightning. Oh, yeah, are you kidding me? Yeah. Ace Lightning, Caravan Park, or what it was, the <laughs> theme park. <laughs> the theme, the Caravan, caravan Park. park. <laughs> it was sick, I went to the Caravan <laughs> Park. Ace Lightning was just like top tier television in the early 2000s. Probably bottom tier CGI though. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If well, you... yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes and no, because it's like they went for it and there was CGI on a kid's show. That's pretty sick, but it looks terrible. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's. Yeah. I don't know if this went past one season because I feel like they pitched it. <laughs> it in looks like... like it didn't even go past <laughs> three episodes. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. One, by the way. <laughs> I got the box set, bro. <laughs> Those three episodes, though. Oh, oh they sick. slap, man. They Dude, slap. Literally, I feel like they pitched this in a meeting and they were like, no, nah, it's going to be sick. Like, CGI mm. is the new thing. Oh, yeah. You've seen The Mummy? Like, this stuff is going mm. on. And then they were like, all right, how's it going to, how much is it going to cost? And they're like, oh, it's, it's like, look. <laughs> most of the characters are CGI. It's like, look, it cost $300,000. What, sorry, what's that? Uh, $200,000. Mm. Mm. Was that... Sorry, what, what was that? Was, so, with the CGI, the actors, you know, it's great. It's just going to cost $300,000. Well, that's what we got to get ABC on board here because we can 50-50 split this up. I mean... Oh, yeah. Damn, that game looks sick. Oh, <laughs> look what he's playing it with. You're kidding me. Let's go. So is it a third person or a first person? Anyway, okay, so we've established... <laughs> okay, so back to Ace TV. Lightning. Yeah. So we've established we've seen Ace Lightning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What what are we ranking Damn, it? Man, I don't it's know. pretty good. It, I don't want to say S tier, but I it is good. It's pretty good. Oh, dude, I don't know. I I would put it like B tier. I, I, reckon, I reckon a solid B. I yeah, I'll give it we'll, yeah. I agree. All right, next up we have Blue Water High. Um, mm. Thoughts? <laughs> Look, thoughts? I watched it because it was on. I don't really give a fuck about surfing, so I'm straight up to it. <laughs> like, honestly. It's honestly, like kids yeah. home and away. And yeah, I was like, yeah. no thanks. That's so um, true. More Jimmy Neutron, yeah. please. Kids home and away is like the perfect way to describe yeah. it. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon E, just e. because it's, it's you know, I don't know. Just it's it's like, Australian. Yeah. It was filmed. <laughs> it was filmed. Australian. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. yeah right, <laughs> right, 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 then. B then. <laughs> like, what do you mean? What are we and doing here? We've been that biased. And it's Australian. And it's Give a, it an S. <laughs> and this is an Australian tier list too. That was probably the fucking dumbest. This is Australian. <laughs> and nothing's gonna be F. God, what are we doing? Oh, well, <laughs> you know, it was. Uh, this is an Australian tier tier yeah, list. Yeah, right. Nothing gets an F. No, nah. I put it on E only because it was filmed like here, like literally, like yeah, yeah. where we live. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So like, you can go to the beach Still and you're like, show. we we're we here. <laughs> Right, I'm right, hey, all right, look at it. Pessimist. We'll see what happens. All right, next up, we have uh, Escape from Scorpion Island. Uh, 
Did you watch this I as did. a kid? I did. Did you apply? No, <laughs> no, I didn't. Did you? <laughs> I would have loved to watch you on that. That'd be so funny. You had to write in like your biggest fears and stuff like that. And I remember writing in, I was like afraid of like deep, deep water or something like that. Like, I don't know. Cause I watched that freaky episode where oh, the shark, shark yeah, comes out yeah. of the pool. So have I actually. And <laughs> I actually watched the episode as well. So I wrote that in. I like really opened up to him. I was mm. like, that's my biggest fear. Like, you know, really, really yeah. put some work in to this document. And then um, I was like, hey, mom, did you post that? Did you post that application? And she was like, nah, sorry, I forgot. <sighs> a week goes so by. Ass. A week goes by. Hey, mom, did you post it? Oh, I forgot. Two weeks, she posted it off. I said, mom, tear rolling down my face. Mom, you know what? Don't even bother. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> you clearly don't want me to win Scorpion <laughs> Island. And for that, yeah. F. <laughs> See you later. Oh. All right. Next we have Freaky. Now I'm sure you're mm. quite familiar with the show. Actually, with I reacted to the first episode of it, and when the shark comes out of the pool, spoilers, it took me a long time to get back in the pool. I still, I'm <laughs> still, I'm not a very good swimmer. <laughs> like Dude. straight up now, I'm not a very good swimmer. I think it's because of that episode. Dude, how is that? Not a strong swimmer. Either, yeah, straight yeah. up. Because like, of that episode? No, just small feet. <laughs> Small feet. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. But did so, you yeah. did you enjoy watching it? Oh no, no, never. Yeah, you never. You don't enjoy watching yeah, Freaky. So yeah. As I say, you enjoy it if you're a psychopath. I'd say I'd say C tier because like when it would come on, I'd be like, oh fuck, like, here we go, yeah. like, cool, I'm gonna be traumatized again. Next up, we have H two O. Just add water. This one has blown up mm, because of like TikTok, and yeah. it was it was on Netflix, and so a bunch of Americans have been watching it. Oh okay, this was like. My sister would watch this show. This, was, this wasn't like our demographic. I think D tier. I think it's better than Blue Water High. Right. Next up, one of my favorite shows really? growing up. If you watch this show now, fuck, it's, it's actually pretty good. I went back and watched one episode recently and I was yeah. like, this is actually just like genuinely a good show. It's like filmed well. Mm. It's, it's like written well. It's just like all the characters are so like individual and different. It's like a very well written show. And that show, is Jeopardy. So look, honestly, in my opinion, it's probably worse than Freaky, but... Like, worse as in, like, you'd rank it I rank worse. it worse than Freaky, just because I didn't really watch it. It sort of okay. freaked me out even more than Freaky. I remember there was one, one season or one episode or whatever when no one could see him. They just yeah, 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 that, yeah. That, like, yeah. I don't know what that... That just that stuck in my head and that just wigged me. Like, just walking around being invisible yeah. and just wanting to not be invisible, that sort of just freaked me out a bit. Well, you're wrong. Yeah, because okay. I think it's a good. I think it's a good show. Okay, yeah, it probably is a sick show. Maybe I was just too Dude, fragile minded. So for yeah. it. In fact, I think you should watch the show, mm. the first episode, mm. and then t send me your, your reaction. Oh, okay. To it, just watch. just like your afterthoughts after yeah. the first episode. Uh, uh. Jeopardy was actually pretty good. I reckon. I reckon up here. Hey, with Ace because just because you know you didn't like it. So. <laughs> just because just because it's one higher than freaky <laughs> yeah yeah oh, no. all right we'll put it up we'll put it on the site okay yeah. so it's on to, on par with freaky now this show this, this is this was my shit. <laughs> i fucking loved parallax damn well funny you say that because parallax don't say it not 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 a massive fan what? of parallax dude it like oh my god i can't believe he's just that parallax like invented multiverse Picture all the multiverse stuff that's going on in the Marvel Universe or whatever. It's because of Parallax. <laughs> Dude, it's a sick show. I love Parallax. I used to play Parallax with my cousin. We used to run around because that... <laughs> True, okay. Well... Yeah, S tier for me. Legit. I love Parallax. All right. Well, okay. We'll give you that. All right. S... Have I convinced you? <laughs> no. Parallax. You don't have to put it S tier if you think it's... Just I, reckon, I reckon A tier, yeah. personally. I reckon Parallax was probably the best live action that I watched. Next, we have Prank Patrol. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's just silence. There was. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it. I. It's a meme for me. Like ninjas pranking people. Like what is that? I don't know. And the pranks were always like kind of bad. But it is the the godfather of all prank channels on yeah, YouTube. So. It is. That's true. C. C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. C. T. Fine. Fuck. We're gonna get some hate for this. <laughs> Next up, we have. Tracy McBean, Let's the go. greatest inventor. I liked the show yeah, a lot. Yeah. 
the intro has stuck with me. Tracy McBean. The brothers were just idiots. Tracy McBean. <laughs> the greatest inventor. Well, you're not the greatest inventor, are you? Everything fucks up. Yeah. Everything fucks That's up for true. you. That's very true. You are not a good inventor. If you're a good inventor, the, the show would end after you trying the first thing. And who gave her that title? She gave it herself? Yeah. God, she's smug. She's a fucking... Oh, she's so arrogant. Mm. Mm. E tier. <laughs> just from her personality alone. This is the alone. best. This is the best show ever. E tier. <laughs> I reckon A tier for this. Yeah. I, I thoroughly enjoyed when it came on. Yeah, Tracy's sick. And, you know, a lot of the episodes were pretty interesting. There's so many shows that I haven't included, but, like, for the sake of just time. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Like, Angela Anaconda. Oh, fucking F tier. Oh, you didn't like Angela Anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> just such a... <laughs> Next up. Mm. One of the best. Oh, yeah. Sci-fi shows to date. Mainly because... Bottle Top Bill <laughs> and his best friend Corky. Alright, there's nothing more sci-fi mm. than a fucking bottle top that can just Man. come to life. Nothing more satisfying than when you watch a castle being built out of like fucking egg cartons and Dude. bottles come in and, and you're just like... <laughs> this show, it was sick. I kid you not, I reckon S tier. Oh, I think this it's is, pretty sick. This yeah, is yeah. one of my favorite kids shows of all time. Like, Dude, they're like, where's the castle? And then, and then like the paper comes yeah, over the top like, of it, and you're like, oh, oh god. And you're like, I could have made that. <laughs> Just drooling. Are they making it? Like, is Bottle Top like being like? The best way to look at stars is a telescope. And then as he says it, it just appears in front of him. Or is know. it like, See, like that's the, always been there? He's the god of yeah, this universe. Yeah. The best way to get information <laughs> out of someone is to waterboard them. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to make someone do what you want is to kill their family. <laughs> they start. Bolt up, Bill, please. I'll tell you anything. <laughs> that's anyway. Bottle Top Bill, Skinny S tier. Yeah, yeah, S tier for sure. <laughs> Next up, we have another sci-fi. Mm. <laughs> Pretty good as well. That is Silver Sun. I, um. I couldn't find a high resolution image <laughs> of the Silver Sun uh. logo or anything on Silver I Sun. I so. he's really high res and then behind him is a really pixelated version <laughs> of him in high res. Like, what so is that? A really bad pixelated version. Uh, and the, I forgot to talk about the theme song. <laughs> Yeah, good day. We should do. We should do. <laughs> just from the intro alone, that's just an S tier. I mean, up. yeah, honestly. Make another tier, just Silver Sun tier, S S S tier. And the and the show itself, it's self was actually quite good. Yeah, as well. Too, yeah. yeah, pretty good. Next up, we have Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. But this show fucking terrified this me is, as this a kid. Is one of the worst shows. Of this. <laughs> it's, it was so I don't so even, scary. I don't know how they allowed this to be on TV. Like, <laughs> what maniac was in charge of ABC at the time to let this show be on TV? I honestly fully I concur. Claymation is already as you know like creepy as yeah, it is, yeah. but then to make a show that's intentionally trying mm. to be creepy on top of it is just it's it's sickening. I reckon it's on on yeah. par with Ace. I feel like it was scarier than Freaky. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. And it definitely stayed with me more. Lastly, an absolute Australian classic. Oh, yeah. Round the Twist. <laughs> have you ever have and you I ever watched, seen this? Watched Round the Twist. Oh, have I seen Round the Twist now? Think about it. That's the one on Lighthouse and Kid. Yeah, I've seen Round the Twist. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't be bothered watching the entire mm. series, but you do want to get a little rundown on how weird Round the Twist is, this guy. <laughs> This guy. I need views. <laughs> <laughs> and with um, that, I, I reckon, I reckon, I reckon it's S tier. S tier. Yeah, you know, I'll give it an S I reckon it's an S tier show. It, it sticks in the mind. And there you have it. That is the tier list that we have created on Australian TV shows. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you do anything differently, I'll put Jeopardy up a little bit higher, personally. This guy. Prank Patrol, maybe a little bit lower. I don't know. What do you think? I disagree. <laughs> Everything <laughs> on that list is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Check out Mitch's channel and bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, bye now. Bye. <laughs>